Dapple, Hornby and Bagman. What have these three main manufacturers got in common lately? Well, over the last five past years, Dapple has, in, has entered the O-Gage ready-to-run market and is leading the way in that. Hornby just recently announced their pioneering TT gauge is back and Backman are doing 009. So I'm going to look at the Dapple O-Gage LSWR B4 today. And here we have it. So I purchased this engine from my local model shop, uh, Chris's Craft and Model Railways on Exeter Street in Plymouth. I was drawn to this loco for a few reasons. Um, one, Dapple has done a really good job on it, and when you look at it in person, it's superb. Also, for me, being, living in Plymouth, this was based at Ferrari, and there are pictures of it running around on the Plymstock and Turnchapel line, making this a very local engine for myself. So that's one of my reasons. The other reason is the model. Um, Dapple's done a superb job on it, and it just draws you to it. So let's have a look at some of the details up close. So down here we've got the lever for the sandboxes, um, what appears to be the clack valve, and I guess the other ones to do with the oiling for the cylinders. And then if we look on top of the uh, loco, got a toolbox, lifting lugs for a crane, um, for when you would probably lift these side tanks off in um, the works when it was going in for repairs or anything. Nice brass whistle. And we can easily take the cab roof off, which is held in by magnets. And let's take a look at the cab detail. So the detail on the cab is very good. Got a coal bunker just inside down there. And then coming down here, we can see all the regulator, the reverser, the firebox. Looking on the back, we have got already a vacuum pipe fitted. And a free link chain coupling, as O gauge engines have. Mine is number 30089 in British Rail's early era crest. The B4s were built at Nine Elms Works in London and worked in Plymouth, Southampton, Eastleigh and so on. So now I'm giving the model a quick test on my dad's layout. Um, it's a very smooth runner, a little noisy, kind of sounds like a buzzing bee. But I then took it outside and test ran it on my garden layout, which is O gauge and had a lovely long run. In Plymouth, these engines were really suited for the duties they were put upon, mostly because of the sharp gradients and curves on the Catwater and Sutton Harbour branch line. Two of these survive into preservation at the Bluebell Railway and the Bressingham Railway Museum. This one is DCC ready and to get the chip in it you open a smoke box and then you pull this circuit board out I believe, do check what the instruction sheet says because I'm not 100% sure. Uh, put your chip on and then pop it back in, close the smoke box and I guess it's ready for DCC then. So there we have it, my review on the Dapple B4. Did you buy one of Dapple's new B4s as well? And what did you think of it? Well, I thought it was a brilliant model and I'm very pleased with it. 
So I think that's all that's left to do now is uh, put it in the box and take it out on another day to run it.